Hello and welcome to the Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast with me, clinical somatic educator and founder of Total Somatics, Heidi Hadley. The Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast has been designed to help you gain a deeper understanding to how your mind and body work. You will learn about your amazing mind and body and why over time you can feel pain, recurring injuries and poor posture. Within this podcast, I will teach you why this doesn't have to be your future or the norm for you. Would you like to learn how to reduce pain, move freely and gain a new lease of life? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started, just to let you know that if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. So every time a new episode comes out, you find out quite quickly um, and then also you can share it with those that you know it will resonate with. Also, if you're really enjoying these episodes, please could you give me a rating and a comment so it allows more people to find out about Somatic Movement and Mindset, the podcast. Right, so let us get started with today's episode. So people often say to me, how can I improve my walking? And that's what I wanna share with you today. How could you improve your walking? Because I'd like to ask you, do you find that over time, you might only be walking for a short amount of time, but you start to find that your lower back is aching, maybe your hips are aching, maybe your shoulders are aching. Never used to be like that, but it is more so now than it was before. Do you also find that your lower back has been impacted by movement? And so the activities that you used to do, you can't do them anymore. Or if you do, it's for a limited period of time. Well, if you're familiar with my podcast episodes, and especially if you're familiar with Total Somatics as a whole, if you're in the membership, you will know that I'm always mentioning that your brain is a pattern creator. It is creating tension and tightness throughout your body all of the time, sensing and listening and changing tension and tone according to how we walk and the load and the pressure that we put through our body. So you see from stress, from trauma, from injuries, from habits, your muscles start to change shape and sculpt and they change tone. And so it all starts from the center of your body. So all around your tailbone, that whole area, that's the first place where tension and tightness happens. So as soon as you start to feel this stiffness and tightness in that lower region of your back, that kind of gives us a little bit of an alarm bell of, right, we need to recalibrate. We need to start softening from your center because somehow this brainstem response, which likes to hold you in those tense type patterns has started to kick in. You see, if we allow that stiff tension from the center to build and grow even more, it will start to restrict your ability to move freely, to have that smooth, rhythmical fluidity, that really lovely bounce and wiggle as you walk. So comfort starts to become reduced as you walk. And the reason for this is that when you lose that ability from your center, it starts to affect that multi-directional movement patterns that we have. You see, they start to get lost because when we walk, we should have like a horizontal rotation that's happening through your pelvis. We should also have an upward and downward motion as we're moving with our legs. So you see, these are all multidirectional. And at the same time, your, your ribs and your shoulders are also working and they create a rotation that's in the opposite direction to your pelvis. So you have what they call a counter rotation. So it's a really intelligent spiral movement and it's the most efficient way to create movement. And out of all of the animals in the animal kingdom, it's only humans that have this counter rotation. If you look at apes, they don't, they walk with hips and shoulders in line with each other. But humans, they're very, very intelligent. And the way that we've had that, we've kind of been created with the rotation through your pelvis and through your ribs and the shoulders really allows us to stand out as being highly intelligent, the most efficient um, movement patterns that we can have. Again, we can twist, we can rotate, we can move in different directions. And this is what counter rotation does. It allows for efficient muscle memory, efficient load, shock absorbency, fluidity, elastic recoil. All of that is happening. And I'd love you to start becoming more somatic and noticing the next time you walk, do you feel you have a spiral movement? Do you feel that your shoulders and your ribs rotate in the opposite direction to your pelvis? Or do you feel that you walk more like a, an ape where your kind of hips and shoulders are stiff as a board walking in the same direction? 
because the reality is there is a relationship say between your right shoulder across to your left hip that is part of that spinal spiral component have a notice of that next time you walk see if you can reintroduce that awareness you see it's called it's basically called contralateral walking patterns so what it shows is the opposite hip to shoulder has a relationship a very intelligent close relationship together and when we get tight and tense through the center of our body we can lose that contralateral walking pattern so you see as muscles tighten as, as much as they start to stiffen up from the center of your body we start to lose the art of walking and that's when we become quite wooden and quite robotic quite stiff like ape-like you know it's just walking with the shoulders and the hips all together whereas we're intelligent we've got so much more within our beautiful bones and our fascia and even when you look at our pelvis compared to say an ape when you look at the shape of your pelvis it's so different we have side glutes whereas the apes don't have side glutes which means it gives us that ability to have that rotation as we walk that's why we're so incredible and we want to take advantage of all these multi-directional movement patterns that we have you see when we get tight and tense from the center we lose that shock absorbency we lose the elastic recoil and the bounce and that is in, that's starting to affect our overall neuromyofascial web and if you're in the total somatics membership you'll see in the recordings workshop section there's an entire workshop designed to the neuromyofascial web and somatic movement so please check that out because you'll see in greater detail how i talk about the movement patterns how we want to reintroduce those back into our rhythm so you see what happens is is that when we get tension through the center it creates a disconnect between your brain and your muscles that again remember we've learned in previous episodes is impacting your muscle memory so the sensory and the motor regions of your brain have simply forgotten how to sense and feel and how to create movement they develop a level of amnesia they simply forget how to contract how to release relax and let go so you see total somatic movement will reintroduce and re-educate muscle memory back into your body and I'd like to invite you to start this from today so you can really benefit get back to feeling that wiggle wiggle and that little um, wobbly um, aspect that we want to our movement we really want to get back that shock absorbency and that lovely bounce so if you're not in the total somatics membership you can start today by going to totalsomatics.com click on the shop page and if you scroll down to the release tight hips and back with clinical somatic movement that is just fantastic for it reintroducing and improving the movement again for walking remember we want to get the spirals back that particular four-part series will allow you to reintroduce that back into your beautiful soma however if you're a total somatics member i'd like to just guide you to where you can go within the membership so you actually have the release tight hips and back with clinical somatic movement if you go into the bonus section you'll see that whole um, four-part movement session there plus you'll see that there's a bonus to support that whole section also if you go to the mindset stroke mindfulness page one you will see there's that smoother walking movement series please check that out you will see again i talk a great deal about rotation through your pelvis talking about your side glutes how we want to take advantage of releasing that tension which can create that rigidity there too but if you want to dive deeper and you're in the total somatics membership if you click into the recordings workshop section you can discover more when you go to the neuromyofascial web and somatic movement workshop plus go to the scoliosis workshop there you will learn some really powerful movements to help release tension through your lower back if you have scoliosis or if you don't you will notice how i guide you through releasing the tension through your back how we can get that nice bit of rotation back into your pelvis and into your spine but we can do that in a gentle way so if you feel that you've got a lot of tension in your back and you want to do things in a gentle manner please check out that scoliosis workshop because there's lots of options there if you have scoliosis or not and finally if you are in the membership go to the recalibrate section and what you will see there is we can go to the go to brain patterning movements where we can do a full recalibration or reset 
And that will help us to kind of ground our nervous system. And you'll see there's other toning and grounding techniques within the recalibrate section, which is so important when we're looking at our overall system of what we can do to really regulate our nervous system. And when we regulate our nervous system, it changes the state of your emotional and mental health. It changes the tension and tone of your muscles. It changes to a different part of your brain. So we start to live with more passion and pleasure and we connect and communicate more efficiently with people. We're less fearful, less of that sort of um, scared to kind of let people in. That's all stress responses. And when we let all that go, when we let that release, it frees up so much movement, so much energy in our body. We're not holding on to tension, which is, again, burning through a lot of our energy, using up a lot of our power, which we could be using in other areas, power output with other muscles instead of just being tight and tense. It uses a lot of energy up. It's very exhausting. So there's so many ways. So if you're in the total somatics membership, please enjoy that whole body of work there. If you're not in the membership, as I said before, go to totalsomatics.com, click on the shop page, and then go to the release tight hips and back with clinical somatic movement, and you will feel the benefits from today onwards. So as always, keep in touch. Let me know how you're getting on, and I'll see you all very soon. All my love and very best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.